Hey guys, what's up? It's Spencer from Flight Director, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to add FS-4 aircraft to FSX. This is especially useful if you want to have a numerous selection of aircraft that you can use in your Flight Simulator X videos, as you are quite likely limited by the number of aircraft you have due to their relatively high costliness, or you just haven't bought any. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. First off, you have to go to a uh, aircraft downloading website or aircraft sharing website. Personally, I recommend going to flightsim.com. They are very reliable, very safe, and pretty easy to use. So, first off, you want to go to File Library, then Search Files. Okay, so now we're at the search bar, very simply. Now, you need to search for a certain text. Um, this is like the aircraft that you want to pick up. So there are two main companies that made FS-2004 aircraft that are very easy to implement into FSX. Those two companies are Project Airbus, uh, very easy to spell. Uh, so they made a lot of A319s, A320s, and A321s, as well as most recently the A380. All of those are very high quality, and I strongly recommend um, downloading them. Uh, they are perfect for videos. So Project Airbus is one. The other one is Project Open Sky. Um, they are now a defunct um, company, unfortunately. Um, but they used to make a lot of 757s, 767s, pretty much the whole Boeing series, as well as the A330, A340, and most of the CRJ series. Um, so they are also a great company to download from. You can el you can either spell it Project Open Sky, or you can spell it POSKY. Both of those are common download terms for Project Open Sky. So now let's find a Project Open Sky um, Delta aircraft. Project Open Sky Delta. And then you want to sort FS two thousand four. Then go by downloads. Start search. Okay, so we got a CRJ900 here. A Delta 757. And that's it. Uh, but these are a couple of good options that we can choose from. Uh, let's download the Sky Team 757-200. So it's painted on the great Project Open Sky model. It is a great model, but it, since that, it has the model on it. And it's a Boeing 757-200 F2004. All right, good. Let's download it. I accept, start download. All right, I've already downloaded this file, so I'll just skip that. So here we are, here's the file. Uh, we can close this. All right, then we have our FSX uh, primary folder, as I'm sure many of you are comfortable with. So you wanna navigate to that, then you wanna navigate to sim objects, airplanes, and you're here pretty much. Now. We have our Project Open Sky Boeing 757-200 Delta Sky Team. Quite simply, copy this over here and paste it in here. Okay, it's right here. Now there's one thing which um, you have to do and the model works perfectly. Unfortunately, the panel and sound do not work um, when converted from FS-2004 to FSX uh, reliably. So you want to delete those two folders. And then personally, I recommend grabbing the um, ones from the default 737-800. Copy these two folders. Uh, this was from B737 underscore 800 folder, just so you can find it yourself. Uh, you can also do it from the 747, A321, your choice really, it doesn't really matter. So you want to scroll back to that folder and paste it in. And now that those two files are in, that aircraft will show up in Flight Simulator X, and you can use it to your heart's content in your videos. Uh, hope you guys learned something today. For Flight Director, this has been Spencer.